Good morning, everyone. It is July the 16th. I hope you're having a great day. This week, I want to deal with the topic of uh, won't you friend me? I'm a big Facebook fan, and uh, the term is uh, friend me on Facebook or Facebook me or whatever. is is such a, a interesting concept. And, and the title for this week is called Won't You Friend Me? Listen to this in John 15, 9 through 17. It says, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Now remain in my love. If you keep my commands, you will remain in my love just as I kept my Father's commands and remain in His love. I have told you this so that you may jo that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. My command is this, love one another as I have loved you. And greater love has no one than this to lay down one's life for one's friend. You are my friends. If, if I do not what, if I do what I command, I no longer call you servants because a servant does, does not know his master's business. Instead, I call you friends. For everything that I, ha I have learned from my Father, I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you so that you might, might go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, so that whatever you ask in my name, the Father will give it to you. This is my command. Love each other. Interesting illustration. A woman uh, who telephoned a friend asked how she was feeling. This, this woman says, terrible, came, came the reply over the wire. My head's splitting, my, backs, my back and legs are killing me, the house is a mess, and the kids are simply driving me crazy. Very sympathetic, the caller said, listen, go and lay down. I'll come over right away and cook lunch for you, clean up the house, and take care of the children while you get some rest. By the way, how is your husband Sam? Sam? The co complaining housewife grasped. My husband's name isn't Sam. Oh dear, exclaimed the first woman. I have dialed the wrong number. There was a long pause. Does that mean you're not coming over? That housewife had hoped she found a friend. Someone who would be there in her need. See, friendship is a powerful thing. Growing up, I had friends all over. Uh, I had friends... My, we used to play hide-and-go-seek in the neighborhood, and it was fun. But uh, it was cool. According to one study I, I read, it says this, People 25 or younger list friends as the most critical social network. Church ranked fifth. By contrast, adults over 25 rank church as their key social group, followed by their work relationships. So when you really begin to think about it, friends, is that Jesus, just for the sake of those who don't know what Facebook is, the most popular social network get-together place on the network, in the Internet. There are 400 users. Uh, if they had their own country, it would be the third largest nation in the world. Facebook is a place where people can share their lives. They can talk about, talk with others, post pictures, articles. They they like people to see, and most of all, their sharing is done between friends. The Bible also speaks about friends. Friendship is a powerful thing, and the Bible agrees. A friend loves at all times, Proverbs 17, 17. There is a friend who sticks closer to him brother, Proverbs 18, 24. Wounds from a friend can be trusted, Proverbs 27, 6. Do not forsake their friends and the friends of your father, Proverbs 27, 10. So when you begin to think of Facebook and what it all entails and, and how God calls us friends and, and Won't You Friend Me is the title of this week's, mess, this week's devotions and, and we'll get deeper into the, the study. But I want you to think about it. One of my favorite, favorite songs is I'm a Friend of God. And go on YouTube and, and search I'm a Friend of God and, and I'll actually play it at the end of the week. But I want you to think about it and ask yourself this important question. Are you a friend of God? Can He call you friend? Let's pray. Lord, I thank you so much for today. I pray that you bless every single person. Give them a great, great day. And Lord, bless them, I pray in your name. Amen. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.